Hello and welcome back. This is Damien. I've been doing some testing and I'm going to show you actually what I've been testing. I'm still in creative mode um, and it's really going to help out here because I built a thing. And it's really way high up here. I could fly up there, but I'm just going to show you this way. Now, what I wanted to do is build a farm. <laughs> And this all started out, I was trying to get a nether portal on the roof from spawn. It's not working right now, so I'm going to have to do some more research on that. So, since that wasn't too successful, I was like, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to build a farm. Because I had been able to harvest some spawners, because I have silk touch on my pickaxe. I actually have a lot of silk touch pickaxes. I got four of them. Uh, when I went through the enchanting, uh, I got one after the other with just silk touch on the enchanting table. And I was like, wow, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have silk touch. Um, so I was able to get some spawners and stuff. Uh, when mining, I found some dungeons and things like that. I knew where some were and, and, uh, I crafted up some eggs and I, I've done some different tests on different eggs. Uh, I think the ones that I'm testing now, the ones that I'm testing now, I deleted all of it because it's just testing. I'm not keeping the stuff, but I have a wither skeleton, a, a zombie five piglin, piglin. Yeah. Um, a zombie and maybe a witch. I'm not sure. Uh, but I've tested evokers. Evokers are a little bit overpowered because you get, like in 20 minutes of testing on the farm with Evokers, I had a double chest full of Totems of Undying. Now, I say overpowered because those things can be fairly overpowered on occasion. Uh, if you're carrying a bunch of them, you know, and you got it in your hand, uh, you can survive and then swap your inventory real quick and stick another one in your hand. You'll never die, uh, depending on how fast you can swap it in combat. Um, so yeah, I had like a double chest full in 20 minutes. And to me, that was just a bit too much. But if I build a raid farm, it'll be the same thing because evokers come in raids. Uh, whenever there's a raid, uh, evokers will show up and they will drop totems of undying and emeralds. And basically the raid farm is built to farm emeralds and totems of undying anyway. Um, so I, I tried that and I was like, it would be really cool to have totems of undying, but that's a bit much. So, um, let me go up here. I'm just going to AFK. Uh, I'm going to AFK up here for 30 seconds or a couple of minutes, something. And they should start dropping. Wither skeletons drop really slowly. The they're, they're, And of course, they're going to be the first ones to drop. Now, this farm functions in two ways. I can AFK up here. And then entity cramming will kill them off. There's the uh, vindicators, I think. There's the piglins, vindicators, and withers. But yeah, uh, and there's the creepers. Yay, because gunpowder. But yeah, those are the four that are in here right now. Then we got creepers, piglins, vindicators, and wither skeletons. And I can AFK up here. And entity cramming will eventually they'll they'll pack in there and they'll just start dying and all that shit will go into my hoppers and into my chest. The only problem is I have one chest down there right now. And if I AFK for too long, that chest will get full of stone swords and crap. And then I'll have a lot of stuff sitting on the carpet. Uh, the way I've really been testing it until I get a better uh, storage system. And I try my hand at a sorting system. The way I've been testing is I'll just let them get built up down here just a bit. Uh, I'll wait like two minutes or so. And once they get built up, I'll just jump down. And I'll come up here and get all the XP. So this is an AFK farm and an XP farm. Uh, it serves as either or. I know that was really loud. I had to volume up. So I know that was really loud, but it serves as an AFK farm or a uh, XP farm. Now, just what I got from standing there and the drops that made it 
to be before the hopper. And then when you look in here, I got two Wither Skeleton Skulls, which is amazing. I normally, it takes a while to get that. Like last night I farmed for 30 minutes and got two. Uh, this time I got two right off the bat. And then I just get all the good stuff. And then I'll put the uh, emeralds, I'll put the heads, and then uh, I'll put the bones and the that and that. Um, that actually goes in the head. Uh, and then I'll do this, and then I'll have one by itself for gold. And the rest of that stuff just gets deleted. Now, normally I take everything out of my inventory, and then I just shift, click, and delete it all. Uh, now, in survival, you can't do that. So if this farm was going to be used in survival, I made a little lava pit. Because I'm going to have to uh, go back. We have a uh, disposal unit in the skeleton farm on Prozetta. And I'd have to go back and get uh, get the redstone wiring for that. And I'd, and I'd just build a disposal unit. And then you just put everything you want to dispose of in a chest and it shoots it down through a hopper into lava and you know the redstone triggers and everything everything is you know destroyed but yeah so and i was looking and i was like you know i have two schools of thought here one i love old school farms i love building um i love building farms uh on spawners when you find them I love building farms, let's say in the nether, a wither skeleton farm. It's a lot of work to build a wither skeleton farm in the nether, though. Uh, so on the one hand, I really enjoy doing those types of farms. Uh, I haven't done some farms at all. And it's really interesting to do, and I call it the old school way, but, you know, that's because I play kind of modded with data packs and stuff. But um, I really enjoy building those types of farms and learning how to build other farms, things like that. On the other hand, because I am of two hands here, on the other hand, I really enjoy getting a spawner, making the egg, building a farm like this, and then I'm done with it, you know, uh, until I get to the point where I need a bigger farm that gives me more output. These farms like this are just made, I make them just to get me by. Um, to give me that little bit of stuff that I need to advance a little bit. And they're dropping 18 blocks, I think. So they're, they're usually one to two hit kills of so indicators, uh, are a little tougher than everything else, but they will go down. And, um, and then I just store all this stuff. And we get the drops that they had here. And, and that's pretty much it. That's how the, that's how the farm works. And you get, you know, head drops and stuff like that because i have i have that data pack in there i love i am a i'm a head hunter i love it and um you know some people don't get it but i i dig it and i'm I, i'm not keeping golden swords and all that once i get a sorting system and if i build um if i build um a farm a gold farm in the nether um, I'll, I'll have to learn how to do a sorting system to get rid of the golden swords because they are non-stackable items and they can really tear up your storage system. But let's see, I've been here, we've been, we've been AFK, well, we've been in the farm for about eight minutes now. And we'll clear this next one out and then we'll see, we'll, we'll get a tally of what we have after about 15 minutes. Oh, wow. 
Okay. We'll get a little chicken out of that, huh? And again, I know I'm in creative. I'm showing you guys how this farm works. I'm not keeping any of this. I'm going to destroy it all. That chicken got out. That chicken, if if that piglin hadn't been on the chicken, he wouldn't have got out. Because I've tested it, and the babies cannot fit through here. Or maybe I need to put, uh, instead of the trap doors, I need to put slabs up there. There we go. Yeah, maybe I need to put slabs back instead of trap doors. But as you can see, you don't really get a lot of overpowered stuff. You know, uh, now the Wither Skeleton Skulls could be, uh, could be, they could get out of hand if you just go with it. But, um, honestly, it's not that bad. And the Vindicators, I don't think we got, no. Uh, the Vindicators, of course, drop uh, uh, emeralds. The Vindicators and the Evokers drop emeralds. So um, that's why I have one or the other in the farm doing the tests. Because I wanted to see, you know, what type of, what type of rate I could get on emeralds dropping. Because like I said... Single player games, emeralds is where you make your make your fortune, not diamonds. All right, we're gonna do one more set, and then that'll be. We'll check the rates. <clears throat> now, I'm not a mathematical genius, and I don't do all the math. I'll tell you how much per hour this is gonna drop. We're just gonna see how much we get in 15 minutes, and then on average, that's what you're gonna get. Oh, he's he's trying to stay there. I had to go farm the ice because with just the water in there, they were they were definitely fighting to drop in this hole. So I put ice down instead of cobblestone, and now they just slide slide right in. Usually that that wither skeleton um, was holding out for a hero though. But yeah, when I farm the ice up, everything else is cobblestone. There is there is no redstone at all in this farm. Um, except for, nope, there's no redstone. There's nothing, there's no buttons for doors or anything. So yeah, there is no redstone at all. Of course, with a spawner farm, you really don't need redstone. There's another Willow Skeleton Skull. Yeah, a couple of them will miss. All right, so in 15 minutes, we got a stack and just a piece of emeralds. We got three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Uh, we got some pretty decent gunpowder. Uh, let's see, we got some, some decent bones. And then we got a little coal. And then a little over a stack of nuggets and then a, a few gold ingots. So that's in 15 minutes. The only thing is those three Wither Skeleton Skulls. That's RNG right there, buddy. 
because like I said, last night I spent a long time on the farm and the best I ever got was two. But uh, if I did a lot of testing over and over and I consistently started getting three within 15 minutes, that is a bit overpowered. Um, so I, I wanted to show you the farm and uh, I'm probably not going to keep it like it is right now. Uh, I like this farm. I like the design I came up with, and uh, it's it's reminiscent of uh, some of the older mob farms. And which, to be quite honest with you, when I first built this, I tried to build an old mob farm. It just didn't work. Uh, I would get one or two mobs that would spawn on little platforms and walk off. But for the most part, nothing was spawning at all. And the farm just, it just, it was like, nope, not going to work. And I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and do some tests on the spawners. And that's when I set this up to do this. Is it overpowered? Possibly. Um, but then again, possibly not. Sure, I get three skulls and I can go kill a wither pretty quick like. But, um. That's not game changing. That just gets me a beacon. Uh, there's nothing that dropped up there that's game changing. Even the amount of emeralds, you know, I could AFK up there for a couple of hours and I'd probably get a couple of stacks of emeralds or three stacks, something like that. But that's still not game changing. I can go buy some bottles of enchanting with that and be done. And, you know, then I got to start all over. So, yeah. Which. The last two seasons, you guys all know that I did a lot of testing on um, the spawners. Oh, my God. It's a raid. I forgot that he was up there, and now it's a raid. I'm going to go in here because we're going to have to do this right. All right. Let's get it on, boys. I've been trying to avoid this. At least uh, if I win, I'll get Hero of the Village. I'm not going to cheat and do it in creative mode. But the thing is, I have to figure out where they're coming from. They're probably going to come from over the hill. We're going to have Ravagers. I'm going to have to hide from the Ravagers and plank them. Yep, they're over the hill. They're coming from over the hill. So you guys will get to see a raid. This was not what I intended, and it is uh, a byproduct of the farm because of the um, the vindicators. They will drop the the banners. All right, we're gonna have to go over the hill and find them. Whoa, there you are. All right. There are two more I need to get. Where's my golden food? Right here. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I'm not going to need a compass. I'll use this when they drop a ravager. And I'll go hide in the barn. All right. There are two more left for this, this first uh, wave. And that's why I wanted to get defenses set up because these guys will be across this mountain. They'll be hiding in bushes. You know, it's just. And their AI is not always going to be. Oh, man, we got more horses and stuff over here. Uh, No vindicators, though. It is good to know for sure. I, I thought so, but it is good to know for sure that those three villagers right there will pop a raid.
because the last time we had a raid like this, I had the Rubik's Cube trading center and it was up in the air and it was it had like 60 villagers in it. So I figured that would pop a raid. Where are you guys at, man? All right, there you are. Yep, ow. Yep, yep. Uh, one more. And it's getting dark. No, 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 no. That's not a good thing. Oh, the door doesn't want to open now, right? Yes, you can sleep during a raid. One thing you don't want is a raid and, and hostile mobs on top of them. Where is this dude at? I mean, so far they've all been coming from over this hill, which is what I expected. I'm going to go low and sit over the top this time. You don't, I hear him. I heard him. You don't want to get caught out when the Ravager comes because Ravagers will one shot you. And then that's not fun for anybody. There he is. Yeah, I told you their AI is not the smartest. Neither is my aim at the moment. Oh, come on, guy. There we go. Here comes the second wave. Let's get close to a building. I can come back for that XP at any time. There we go. Oh, uh, that's the horn. Let's see what we got. I try to stay in a defensible position. Ravagers will tear up the world, man. Ravagers don't care about anything. And again, they're going to be coming over the hill. They're definitely using this hill. Wonder. Uh, what does it take? Shears? No, oh, I have shears. This is just something that we've done before. Make some iron blocks. What is it? Let's go outside. Let's not do it in here. Is it one, two? Go. Don't go inside, dude. Why are you going? Okay. Um. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough.
they're all on the other side of this mountain. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm saying it now. But some of them will trigger with me coming up on top of the mountain. But, um... Or maybe not. This guy is just like, oh, I'm just going to wander around up on this hill. I have not seen the first dude in this wave. I have not seen the first guy. Whoop, there he is. They're, oh, they're trying to go through the mountain instead of over it. Idiots. Missed him, wow. Oh, that's an evoker. Alright, next raid's coming. See how they got, they just got stuck behind the hill, though? Alright. <clears throat> All right, there they are right there. Now, where's my golems at? There's a ravager in the sheep pen. Well, that sucks. Um, well, this ain't gonna be fun. I ain't gonna lie. Probably gonna kill some sheep. I'm killing a lot of sheep. There we go. And to be just honest with you guys, I don't care that I'm killing sheep. This this same Ravager, well, not this, this guy, but the Ravager is what killed me last season during the raid. It was a very end of the raid. The Ravager came out, and the Ravager one-shot me. They have a lot of health, and they hit really, really hard. So I will sacrifice a few sheep to kill this guy. Just like that.
And I have no idea how many waves there's going to be. Usually five, I think. And I halfway want to jump in that pen over there. And it's going to get dark again. I'm going to have to sleep. You're not getting out of here. There's a saddle over here, and I'm getting it. I've been fishing for saddles. I've been trying to get my hands on saddles. And I have nothing. Did I get a saddle off that raptor? Yes. Okay, I'm good. We have a saddle. One damn good thing that came from the raid, at least. Come on. I know where they're at. Let's just... Come on. Let's sleep. And the golems probably ain't gonna help a lot, but... I was kind of appreciative of their help. Oh, let's get that. I just want to drop this shit real quick. I can hear him. I can definitely hear him. That's a pig. This can be entertaining, I can tell you that. Um, is that there? Okay, no. Every time I see my flags, I think I got a, got one over there. Yeah, the only thing that worries me in these raids like this is those Ravagers, man. I'm not even joking. Those Ravagers, they don't play. And it's strange to me that that one, oh, they got a witch. They got three witches. They got lots of witches. But they're all bunched up, so. <laughs> Did she just try to throw a potion and hit all of her guys? They're not even trying to turn around and shoot me either. Cal, you will get shot in the face. Just letting you know, buddy. Yeah, the witches are going to be the hardest ones to kill because they got healing potions. And they'll throw poison at you and... Not the most glamorous raid, I'll say that. And I'm definitely not going to go down there against three witches. I'm hoping I can kill a couple of them. One witch, no problem. Three witches? Throwing potions? Yeah, no, nah, I don't see that going over too well.
One witch down. And they seem to be throwing potions at each other. Well, that's a banner. Yep. All right, witch. Your time has come. Next raid's coming. I need to eat. My inventory is full. Great. Oh, it's a Ravager. Can, can I climb the fucking mountain? Apparently not. Apparently I don't know how to fucking climb. And I'm using a pickaxe on dirt. Because apparently I don't know how to climb. Where's my goddamn shovel? This is irritating. Why are you pushing me, you fucking pig? You know, up the fucking mountain, dumbass. I need those golems. That is an evoker calling Vex. And I'm assuming my villagers are dead. I see arrows all over there. I'm assuming they got the villagers. Where are the fucking golems at? Over there, chilling. Where is the ravager at? That's the next question. Yeah, fuck your casting, dude. Here's the totem. I can hear more. I can hear more of these guys. Um, yep, villagers are all dead. Get that the fuck out of here. Villagers are all dead. Huh? They messed up my potatoes. Like that's a big deal or something. Where's he at? Oh, there's more than one. Vindicators, is it? But you want some too? You want some too, huh? You badass? You man, bro? Uh, that's a um, evoker? Nope. All right, and that is the end of the raid. I did not get Hero of the Village, but my Iron Golem did kill the Ravager. I didn't get Hero of the Village because, well, they're all dead. Which is why I didn't want to, you know, have a raid. We were not ready for a raid.
store that stuff. This place is not defensible enough. Blah, blah, blah. I suck at raids. I have two saddles, though. Actually, raids no, are not that bad. It just depends. We got a really bad, uh, we got a really bad pull on that one. It wasn't that great. Redstone. Banners in there for now. I didn't get a Vindicator head. That's that's a thing. Got some sugar. Got a little bit of food. But this is the most important thing. That's the most important thing. I have saddles now. Okay. So you can see how the raid works. If you didn't already know. And they go after your villagers. Who were not defended well at all. They bring out ravagers. Who will freaking one shot you. Which is actually quite entertaining and fun. Whenever you're ready for it. But anyway, that's a raid, and um, we failed it because our three villagers are gone, and our our second iron golem's over here standing on a hill going, hey, man, what's going on? But anyway, I am going to call it on that one. I'm going to call it here. Uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little raid that I didn't even see coming, and I screwed it up because I had that thing on me from up there. But it's all good, man. I'll get more villagers in there and um, keep working on the uh, defenses for this place. And yeah. So again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.